might remember as a kid taking our uh, VHSC uh, video camera and uh, shooting little films with my uh, one of my childhood friends, and uh, we would just do random stupid stuff. And uh, I remember how we were totally blown away how we were reenacting, like trying to reenact a scene from Rambo where uh, I'm playing. Oh, go figure, an Asian uh, or uh, Vietnamese uh, soldier, and uh, I take a leap off the side of our deck and land on the ground. And uh, my friend Carlos uh, was shooting, and then I guess he paused at just the right moment so that when we went to, be to play back, it's uh, a shot of me falling, and just as I hit the ground, I disappear. Our first explosion to special effects. It's like, I was like, whoa, look, he just vanished. That's cool. Uh, unintended byproduct of, uh, of amateur uh, kid filmmakers, I guess. So um, I definitely did not have the ambition or, or, uh, or uh, determination that, uh, that um, Eric Zala, Chris uh, Strompolis, and... Uh, Jason Lamb had in making probably one of the best fan film shot for shot remakes ever made. Uh, I am speaking of Raiders of the Lost Ark, the adaptation, uh, where these uh, these three childhood friends over the course of seven summers uh, got together to uh, make this film, uh, a, a shot for shot remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, and uh, now we have a documentary, Raiders, the story of the greatest fan film ever made, uh, uh, directed uh, by uh, Jeremy Kuhn and Tim Skousen. And uh, the, the documentary looks at how this came together, and uh, it picks up their story present day, uh, almost 30 years after uh, they uh, wrapped well, maybe not 30, maybe 25 years or so after they wrapped, after their final day of shooting on the adaptation. And when the, the completed product they had was incomplete because they were missing one scene in particular that they were never able to shoot. And that was the, uh, the great fight scene at the plane uh, on, the air, on the airfield. And the, uh, the documentary picks up their story when they uh, launch a Kickstarter campaign to, uh, to get the funding to shoot that scene so they can complete the adaptation and as the film progresses we see the origins of where they got the idea and um, how they shot it and uh the shots of scenes of uh of the uh doc of the film itself and it's just amazing uh, and uh, you're you're amazed by these kids ingenuity uh, on how they could uh for for a shoestring budget that they're able to put together these things and do a solid uh, shot for shot that with each frame, each moment evokes the original film. So I was like, oh, that's the, yeah, I remember that's pretty much exactly how I remember seeing that scene. And and, uh, and you're just uh, blown away by how they did it. And over again, over the course of seven summers that they actually did this. Uh, the film, the documentary is not just about the making of the film. It's also about the lives of these three friends and uh, the, the course that uh, their lives took over the years and um and the uh the hurdles that they had to overcome in order to get to where, to where they are now and it's it's uh it, it gives you a really solid look behind the scenes on what it's like to make a low budget film and and the pressures that mount uh just just looking at how they the time they spent and what they had to go through just to get the uh the uh that one scene shot and it's, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a very inspiring piece. Uh, the, doc the documentaries are very inspiring, and their story is quite inspiring because it, just, it, gets, it really motivates you to, to go after your dreams no matter how long it takes. And uh, when, when it looks like it's done and there's nothing more to do and you know there's just that one, one little ounce of, of uh, inspiration and creativity that's sitting there, that one spark that's just sitting there, and, and you just have to go, it, go after it, pursue, and uh, fulfill your dreams. And that's what this uh, documentary is about, and that's what their story is more or less about. Uh, the documentary also features a lot of uh, known names like Eli Roth, John Reese Davies, uh, Chris Gore, as they talk about how they discovered the film, and uh, we hear about how the film has reached out to other people on a, on a grassroots, old-school, old, uh, old school, 
uh, grassroots uh, sharing campaign. This is the back before the internet days, before we had files and to share. We actually had to share physical media and uh, copy of copy of film and then share it with two friends and they share it with two friends and so on and so on and so on. So uh, Raiders, the documentary about the uh, about the uh, adaptation is a solid documentary that that's uh, very engaging and will definitely make you want to see Raiders of the Lost Ark, the adaptation. If you haven't already, you'll probably want to go see it again. Uh, it's just amazing how these, uh, these kids pulled off these shots and uh, shot for shot, essentially. And it even gets the seal of approval from the man himself, Steven Spielberg. So Raiders, the uh, story of the uh, greatest fan film ever made, I would have to give four stars out of five. It's a great documentary, very, very entertaining, very moving, and sometimes it's like, uh, in some moments, a little shocking and compelling. So um, this is definitely one worth checking out. Uh, I found it on uh, on Netflix, and I'm guessing it's available on other uh, video-on-demand sites. Uh, so Raiders, the story of the greatest fan film ever made. Definitely worth ch uh, checking out. Four stars out of five. So if you like this uh, review, please hit that uh, like button below. Have you heard about the Raiders adaptation? I've heard about it myself maybe 10 years ago, but I haven't seen it, which I'm going to rectify very soon. So um, please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews, trailers, reactions, uh, retro reviews, and any other fun things I have to put up on my channel. So until next time, my friends, stay inspired.